Okay, so one of the great free screencasting tools is Screener. Um, Screener is a fantastic tool because it's available with, from within your web browser, so you don't need to install any other software except for Java, which you would have on most computers anyway because a lot of uh, web apps run using Java. Um, and you can check to see if you have Java uh, installed on your computer, and Screener will actually do that for you. The other fantastic thing about Screener, like many uh, Web2 tools these days is you can log in using other accounts that you've already created so you can use your Twitter account or your Google account uh, and at the moment here we're logged into Screener using the Bright Ideas Twitter account so that means you don't have to create another account to use Screener and I'd recommend probably logging in if you have Twitter using your Twitter account because then you can um, publish and tweet from within that Twitter account. So we're just going to have a quick look at how to do a screencast from within Screener. So once you have logged in using another account, you'll get the record button uh, and you can choose to record. You've also got my screencasts um, and any of your recorded will, will appear in that tab. And you've also got your public stream and you can choose to whether you want to make a, a screencast public. So we're just going to get started by clicking on record and what Screener will do is it will just look to see if Java's there. In some browsers you might get a pop-up saying, do you want to let this um, program run? and just choose yes and go from there and then from within Screener you can choose you can define the area that you want to record so if I only wanted to record that part of the screen uh, you can do that or you can drag it nice and wide um, you've also got capture size options down the bottom if I just make that a little bit smaller there we can see that you've got different capture sizes so if you want a particular size and resolution you can choose that as well and along the bottom of here we also have our microphone input just to show you that the microphone's working and your record button and when you're finished if you're on a Windows computer you can press Alt D to finish your recording so once we've got our window set up uh, I'm just going to go into Google and we're going to use this as a sample screencast and I'm just going to click record uh, it'll give you a countdown so you can get your mouse where you want to go and then you can just start talking. Maybe leave a little gap at the start of your screencast. And also I just make sure that if you are screencasting, just be careful about um, if you log in with any accounts and you don't want to share, say, your email addresses, uh, make sure that you're not logged in. I'm happy enough to share this one, but um, don't kind of identify yourself with any personal accounts that you don't want people to be able to see on your screencasts. So in this case, we're going to do a quick tutorial about how to use Google by doing our little search there and there we go we can see it there um, and once you're finished with your screencast you can press Alt D um, to finish up and we've got our timer running there we can see or you can click on done and that will finish your screencast now if you go back to the screener tab your screencast will appear and we can see that and I'm not going to play it because that'll interfere with this recording. You can also put in a description of your screencast, try and be descriptive. You've only got 112 characters but you can put that in as well um, and that will go out in a tweet if you want to publish and tweet about your screencast um, or you can just publish for the moment without actually sending a tweet. And if you're not happy with the screencast you can just delete it as well.